All right, I have to get a measurement here. A friend of mine wants me to put a door here. This is all masonry in this little entrance here in her new apartment. I don't have my tools with me, so I don't know how I'm gonna put the frame in, but I've been known to be a miracle worker. Okay, so kick that over. But this video is not really about me building this door. It's about the doors I just found this morning. So let's go look at them. We gotta get the dog first. All right, here's our first door. It's really shabby looking and it's got stuff in front of it. Jeez, I wonder who's in this ice chest. It's kind of heavy. Oh my goodness. Deja vu. Move some crap out of the way. Look at this fake beadboard shit. Oh my god, this door has had some goofball updates to it. You see all that stuff? Got some uh, spray foam on it, probably lead paint, nice plywood patch, plywood patch right there. Let's see, this is probably going to be the closest to what I need. Yeah, it's just a little over 31. It would, I might have to trim it down because I got to put it in a frame and tap con it in or something. I don't have any tools I have to go rent them if I'm going to do this. Let's see. Yeah, this would work if I could get a circular saw. A little over 80. Good to cut it down. You want to see the other side, Dixie? It's just somebody's, they cut this for the dog? That must have been a big dog, huh? Big old dog door. What was that for? That's some kind of bracket right there. Locust shell on there. Does it smell good to you? It smells good to you, it don't necessarily smell good to me. Oh, this door is heavy with rain. Oh, what do you know? Why'd they put the, this is for security. Ain't nothing wrong with these panes in here. Look at that. Moyons are in good shape. Here's a bit of paint, a little dog tooth here and there. More spray foam. Spray foam just makes stuff look ugly. It's a horrible color of spray foam. Yuck. It's a nice heavy door. It's got hinges on it. Pin hinges. You like it when I look at the garbage? Come on. Let's go look at the other door. It's a squirrel. Should you a little out of sorts today because of the rain? Dampens all the smells. She just kind of walks around glum. She don't like the rain. She doesn't like water. She's scared of water. Well, that has no life to it. Turn the corner, Dixie. Good girl. All right, this is our second location for the second door. This one comes with a frame just for uh, shoots and ladders here. Let's measure it. I would have to severely trim that down and I don't want to have to. It's too big. It's nice. I wonder if this is a craftsman door. Might not be that old. Too big. Nice door though. Good glass. The frame. Just 
some serious looking stuff right there. If I was home, I would store this, just put it in my storage. Got too many of them already. Oh, what do we got here? You wanna go look at some more garbage? Huh? Wanna go look at some more garbage? Yeah. People's garbage habits in this town are interesting. They put the good stuff or what they deem to be good next to the dumpster. Seems to sit for a while too. Those are some uh, cabinets. I wonder if these are like for the living room. They're, too... They're not upper cabinets. It could be if you wanted. I think they're ugly as sin. Look at that. Yeah, you know that first door Dixon and I found is just a little too, a little too many things wrong for too ugly. Missing that bottom panel is a problem. Just not attractive, attractive enough to put in my friend's apartment. And I might convince her to do something a little different. Maybe an accordion type partition or something well we'll see probably find a better door I'm known for finding all kinds of great stuff and bad stuff come on Dixie well that's about it for this little video not the most exciting video today huh Dixie you know what I need to find for that entrance what would work best is a bathroom door or a closet door. An exterior door is just a little too heavy. I wish wish the garbage was better today, Dixie. Like I need stuff right now. Come on, see you next time.